Spencer and Leo have a lot in common. They are uh, giving, uh, vibrant, uh, sensitive. The difference is that Cancer tends to be inward and Leo is outward. Uh, let me explain. Cancer is a water sign and therefore it operates on the emotional level. Even if the Cancerian appears to be someone who is very mental and a very practical, uh, basically that comes out of feelings. Cancers are very good at hiding feelings until they feel safe, but that is the way they operate, through the emotional level. Leo, on the other hand, is a fire sign, full of passion and energy and uh, a sense of being magnificent. Leo is the superstar and needs a great deal of attention. So at the beginning of the relationship, they seem to fit each other's needs because Cancer pays a lot of attention in, in the ways that matter to Leo. There's lots of affection, an abundance of giving, uh, an abundance of being protective. The Leo loves to feel loved. But then what happens is that Leo needs a lot more from the Cancer than is able to get. Obviously, Leo needs a lot from everybody. But in this relationship particularly, Cancer will tend to be more and more sensitive or touchy, will take uh, umbrage at certain Leo's controlling ways or Leo demanding this or that. And so Cancer will with, withdraw into itself and Leo will feel abandoned. And little by little, they simply drift apart. As a business partnership, it would be a good one because Leo has that sense of adventure and uh, Cancer is very good with money. But as a love affair, it soon dwindles into a lot of hurt feelings.